Okay, it's not giving me a limit. Hi guys, so I thought I would do a... I'm not liking this angle. Just, I'm not liking that angle. Let's see if beauty pro... Beauty, beauty products can help out. better. So I thought I would do the best, my personal favorite beauty products of 2015. And a lot of this is going to be makeup. I don't have a lot of hair because once I find something that works, sorry, I don't know what's on my TV. Uh, all right then, let's just not mention what's on my television right now. Daytime television, it's not the best. Anyways, uh, not a lot of this is going to be hair products because once I find stuff that works good for my hair, um, I should probably just turn my TV off, but that involves effort. But once I find something good for my hair, I typically stick to it. I don't try a lot of new stuff. I might go buy some new stuff today. I don't know yet, but let's go ahead and start off with some stuff. I've got a little pile here, and we're just going to go, and if you've noticed, I've got lipstick on. What? I never wear lipstick. <sighs> okay, so let's just get on to this lipstick then because it is, I, you're going to hate me so much for using this, but I've never seen any of the Star Wars movies. No one's ever wanted to watch it with me and I really don't want to watch it alone. I just, for some reason I don't want to watch it alone, but it is Star Wars lipstick. And this is number 40, it's my personal favorite and... I think it's cute. It goes with my brown eyeshadows. So it goes on pretty good. It, I don't know. I don't wear a lot of lipstick, so I don't have a lot to compare it to. I've had some that go on a little better and look a little better for the final finish. But honestly, this is pretty good. It's CoverGirl, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's CoverGirl. Okay, so next, let's just get on to the next thing I mentioned, eyeshadow. Both of these are my heart candy palettes. You can't see them because lighting. Ah. Oh. Okay. I've watched a lot of Graveyard Girl today. Let's just throw that out there. So this one here's a smoky eye. Can you even see it? And I don't have the little books anymore. I've lost them. But when you get these, they come with a little book right there. And you've seen me do a review on these. And it tells you how to do it. I don't wear this one, this palette here a lot as often as I wish because honestly browns just look nicer on my eyes and they come there's some more they come with little swabs like this and little tubes of the eyeshadow primer which I regifted to someone else because on to the next good product of 2015 hard candies eyeshadow primer which I have a big tube of this thing has lasted me a really long time a little bit goes a long way with this stuff if I've noticed that um, uh, that it stays on pretty good, I mean, I've put it on with makeup to do my hair and stuff, and my eyeshadow has stayed on through all the water rushing down my face. Ah, oh, I just remembered. I want to do my hair today. Our bathtub's broken to where the only thing that runs is literally the shower. The, s the little spigot part doesn't run, and that's how I wash out my bleach. Alright, that's the downside for me today. But anyways, this is really good. Some a lot of this product's probably gonna be hard candy. Um, the next products which are only available during the holiday season. Very sad teary face because I love both of them so much and I'm terrified I'll run out before uh the next holiday season. And I'm terrified that you will never redo this. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I bought four. Two of each kind to make sure that doesn't happen to me anytime soon. So it's the Chopstick Pumpkin Spice, or Pumpkin Spice, Pumpkin Pie, White Girl, and then the Candy Cane. They make my lips all nice and moisture -y. This really does taste like pumpkin pie, and this makes your lips all tingly and stuff like you just rub mint on your face. So that's pretty great. I like it. Woo! It sounds like something just fell. I am too hyper and all I've had today is a toasted bologna sandwich. Oh my god. Next product is... That something fell again. Next product is by e.l.f. And I have naturally extremely oily skin. So I don't know if this is helping focus. I need a camera. An internet. 
But anyways, it's the Shine Eraser. I have naturally really oily skin. This works really good. I've had people come up to me at work and be like, what kind of liquid foundation can I use? I've got really oily skin and I suggest to use this before you put on any of your makeup. It works really good. It looks like that. They're really thin sheets. And I really like it. It works really well. You're supposed to dab it and just dab. I don't do that because I never do anything right. I kind of just like lightly rub it off. I That's not good for your skin, but I do it anyways. Alright, next two products are... I swear to God, if I lost it again. I've lost this thing three times trying to prepare for this video. There it is! Okay, so next two things are going to be different makeup brushes. Now, everyone here knows that I really like e.l.f. e.l.f. is such a good brand that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. But my personal favorite for 2015 is going to be the small angled brush. And you can't really tell that much, but whenever I use palettes like this, and I'll, I'll say do the top row here, I'll go down to this row here, get a little bit of that, and do it under the eye for a little effect. Today I used this row and went here to do a little effect right there. I'll get a closer look to see, to let you guys see. But this works really good for that. I really like it. It gives it a nice little subtle effect to me personally. So I like it. The next brush is Mulligan Show one, but any and all of my Little Mermaid brushes. I like this. I like them. They're really soft. They work really good. I got them at Hot Topic. They came with a little brush carrier. I currently don't know where it is because I kind of just shoved them all into my aerial makeup bag. And just, I love the ocean, so I love the Little Mermaid. But let's see if y'all can see the thing I was talking about. Not really. It doesn't show up on camera too well, but it's a nice little subtle effect that I know there. Good stay. Alright, on to the next thing. I'm going to save the hair stuff for last. Next product I had lost for about a week, and I was devastated. It's another product by e.l.f., and it's this eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Eyeliner. And I just, I like it. It's really nice. I'm trying to speed this up so it's not that bad. But it goes on really nice. I don't have to sharpen it too easy. I don't have to heat it up to get it to go on. I have other ones I don't have to heat up to make it go on, but it's honestly painful to put it on. Even if I'm lightly doing it, this I can just lightly go through, and it's good. Alright, the next one is... Alright, the next one is my Rimmel Match Perfection Liquid Foundation. I like that angle. That angle dough. Okay. So right here it is. I've always wanted one where you just kind of twist it and drop it. This, unfortunately, is still not like that. But it's probably been the last kind I had. Last kind I won't name the brand because then people will probably be like, oh, you weren't using it right. But when you opened it, it came out with a weird little stick thing and it... It was just weird. So this I kind of just get with my flat brush wherever I currently have it located. Right here. Pour a little bit. Oh my god! Will that work? And just, you know, rub it on. This is an interesting video already. Next one I am completely out of at the moment. Devastates me. Is Elf Face Primer. I'm not liking this angle, but at least my phone's not going to fall. It works really good. I just pump it out and I use their stipple brush to apply it, but I'm currently all out. Makes me sad. I need to go buy some. I also just got over a cold, so maybe that's why I'm hyper. Next things is, where's the other one? Why do I lose it? Okay, there we go. Is Forever 21's Little Blender and Eclair's Beauty Blender. I like both of these a lot. I got another one in the mail recently and just look at the difference in size and the not been used yet and these need to be cleaned again. But I like them and they're really soft. It blends. What I like to do is when I put on my liquid foundation, I like to go back through and just blend it into, I guess, my natural lining. I don't know how to describe it. But I like using these. They work really good. Alright, I'm getting down to the last one, two, 
three, four, five, six products. Oh my goodness. And three of them are makeup. Wait. Three. Seven products. That was a long and very sad pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. Just making sure. All right, the next is also by e.l.f. again, and it's their daily brush cleaner. I love this stuff. It makes cleaning it really easy. It cle cleans the bacteria. Yes, because bacteria needs to be cleaned, Elizabeth. It helps kill the bacteria, makes my brushes really soft, and I like using it. This is just a brush I've used it on, and I haven't had to use it lately. But you can tell it's really good and clean. Next is, I've lost the top to this, like the main little top. It's still got that weird thing. It broke off somehow. But this is by Miss Manga. It's the Voluminous Mascara. Any information? My, mine's a black brown, but it comes out brown on most people. I have really black eyelashes, so it doesn't matter. But I like it. It comes out really nice. It's getting a little clumps on the end because I'm running very low on it. And I've used it a bunch, but it works good. I didn't get it in there. Alright, the next two items are kind of related, but they're both by Hard Candy, and they're both setting. One is the translucent setting powder. Which really is translucent. I had bought this other setting powder and it was wider than a snowman when it went on your face. So this here really is translucent. It works really well. Awful lighting. And then the next one, is, they're both fast and fabulous, is their setting spray. And it works really well. I mean, my makeup is set on really good with this stuff. I used just this for a while and then I decided to start using both because why not? Life is traumatic. You need good setting stuff. On to the hair stuff. The next one is just this little hairbrush I got at Sally's. And it's really cute. It's got hair in it right now. It's got a little mirror. Can I can't. Eh. That sort of works. But anyway. Oh, there's my father. Hi, Dad! Oh, he wants me to go unlock the door. Hold on. Alright, so it's just a nice little hairbrush. I like it. He's watching me record. He's looking at me like I'm a weirdo. He just left. I had to unlock the door for him again. But he's probably wondering why I'm brushing my hair. I'm Ariel. Ah, uh, but not for long. I might be changing my hair completely. I don't know yet. Next thing is also I got at Sally's. Is also I got at Sally's. Is Beyond the Zone Protein Cocktail. I'm running really low on it. But it works really good. It's been helping my ends from that time they got all frazzled and stuff from bleaching. Which will probably happen again if I go to Sally's today like I'm hoping. Ooh, ah, killing my hair! But I don't know. If I do do it, I'm going to use the tablet I bought my dad and record it. And then whenever I go up to my fiancé's, I'll try to do some beep bop boop editing and make a decent video for once. Oh my god. Look how weird this is. I look like that guy from, I think it's Star Trek that has like the pointy thing and then it's all lines through there. I don't know. Okay, this is already long. And then the last thing I have is an Argan Oil of Morocco deep conditioner. I love this stuff. It smells really good. I use more than it suggests to use, but that's because I mainly put it on my ends. I'm running low on this too, but I love it. Like... Smell a vision, be real. I want these people to smell how amazing this is. Like, I could just. Can my entire body smell this good? Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Oh, I hope my neighbors can't hear me. I'm too hyper. But that was my few best products of 2015. I almost said 16. I was like, this year just started. So, oh my goodness. What if. I'm. I'm fabulous this way, right? Oh my god. That actually doesn't look half... I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyways, guys, I'm too hyper. I might make some more videos. I don't know. I forgot this was put back here. I thought it was still at the top, so I was trying to flip it. 
But anyways, you guys have an awesome day. Comment down below some of your best products for 2015. Comment any questions you have about the products I've shown. Any questions about why I'm so hyper and why I'm so weird today. I don't even know, but we can try to figure it out together. Alrighty. And if you want to know what was on my TV, apparently it's Criminal Minds. I like this show, but um, it started off with this man forcing married people to have sex in the back of his car and then he killed them. Alright, y'all have a nice day.